They crawl, they slither, they infest. But what if I told you there's a simple magical ingredient right in your kitchen that can help? Yes, good old salt. We're not cooking today, folks. We're declaring war on pests with salt. Hey there, amazing people. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss any of our exciting hacks. And if you've battled pests and won using any home remedies, drop a comment below and let's share the knowledge. Salt, the very essence that flavors our food, has been used for ages, not just in the kitchen, but also as a potent pest repellent. Thanks to its desiccating properties, salt can dehydrate many pests, making it uncomfortable or even lethal for them. Let's dive into the world of pests and see how salt stands against them. 1. Ants Let's start with those little warriors, ants. They're tiny but in numbers, oh boy, they can be a headache. Ants often avoid paths sprinkled with salt due to its desiccating properties. For best results, 1. Identify their entry points. 2. Mix equal parts salt and pepper. 2. The combo is more potent. 3. Sprinkle this mixture at these points. They, not only does it act as a barrier, but it confuses their scent trails. 2. Snails and slugs. Gardeners, you'll love this. Snails and slugs literally melt away when in contact with salt. 1. For a quick solution, sprinkle salt directly on them. 2. To protect plants, create a salt barrier around the base. 2. However, remember, excessive salt can harm plants too. 3. Spiders. Now, spiders aren't all bad. They eat other pests, but if you don't want them around, 1. Mix salt in water until it's fully dissolved. 2. Pour this into a spray bottle. 3. Target corners, windows, and other spider-prone areas. 3. The salty environment is spider kryptonite. 4. Fleas. Pet owners, ever notice those tiny jumpers? Yep, fleas. 1. Generously sprinkle salt over carpets. 2. Allow it to sit for 8-10 hours. 2. This dehydrates the fleas. 3. Vacuum thoroughly afterward. 3. Don't forget to empty the vacuum bag outside. 5. Moths. Protecting your wardrobe from moths is essential. 1. A simple saline solution in a spray bottle works wonders. You lightly misting your closet walls and floor will deter moths without harming your clothes. 6. Silverfish. These wigglers love damp places. 1. Identify damp spots in your house, especially bathrooms and basements. 2. Sprinkle a salt and baking soda combo. 2. The added baking soda amplifies the repellent effect. 7. Cockroaches. The ultimate survivors, cockroaches. 1. While salt isn't their primary weakness, it can still help. 2. A salt and borax mixture sprinkled in their frequent hideouts can help curb their numbers. 8. Carpet beetles. Moving on to the sneaky carpet beetles. 1. As with fleas, generously sprinkle salt over affected carpets or fabrics. 2. Allow it to sit for a few hours. 3. Vacuum it up and see the pest disappear. 9. Bed bugs. Now these are a bit trickier. 1. Mix salt with diatomaceous earth. 1. While salt hampers them, diatomaceous earth is lethal to bed bugs. 2. Sprinkle this around infested areas and always consider professional help for severe infestations. Cannot send earwigs. These nocturnal crawlers detest salt. 1. Mix salt and essential oils like citrus or peppermint. 2. Sprinkle around entrances, windows, and other possible entry points. 11. Garden pests. Protecting gardens is a challenge. 1. A light saline solution can deter pests like cabbage worms. 2. Spray this solution early morning or late evening to avoid harming the plants. 12. Grasshoppers. Your garden's enemy! 1. A mix of garlic, onion, salt, and water can be sprayed on plants. 2. This not only repels grasshoppers but also nourishes plants with trace minerals. There you have it, folks. While salt is a versatile tool in our pest-fighting arsenal, moderation is key. Test on a small patch first, especially with plants. Together, with a pinch of salt, we can win this battle against pests. If you tried any of these methods or have more to add, share your experiences in the comments below. And don't forget, sharing is caring, so spread the word and this video. Also don't forget subscribe and hit the like button.